Every student needs a pathway to personalization. Creating that pathway may require you to do something different. It may require you to tap into different resources. It may even require you to retool yourself as a teacher. I'm a big believer in coaching. In coaching somebody, you're there to encourage them and you're there to challenge them. I think the DLP is offering different platforms for us to really see these different ways that we can create pathways of personalization. The DLP has allowed me to be a coach that knows where the technology could fit in to a lesson. The DLP has always been about not just using technology for the sake of using technology, but using technology strategically. We're just bouncing ideas off each other of how we can apply this technique or using technology to this technique in order to enhance other students' learning. Just to start off, I kind of just like took what I had and then put it on Google Classroom. But as time like has gone on, I've kind of like incorporated different mediums in order to bring different types of learning to the students. He's doing what we want teachers to do. He's empowering students, he's giving students that choice. And I'm really proud of working with Mr. Cradle and Mr. Estrada on a more peer collaborative culture among the staff. So it's not coming from the top down. We empower other teachers to do the same thing. That way we're all teacher leaders and we're all truly a professional learning community. What I've been able to strengthen is my ability to meet them where they are because they all reach the same endpoint, but they may each need a different path to get there. I find the DLP this year very valuable, working with people where they are and then helping them to see exactly where they are. It's people coming together as a collective to work together. The end game is that we graduate kids, kids are smarter, kids are happier, and schools are thriving.